What a ball game over in Verndale yesterday afternoon. It was a cold, windy afternoon. Brutal out there, I'm sure, for the players. Tough to throw the football, but Arnold Thompson threw it well. 8 of 20 on the day. After going 0 for 4 in the first half, Thompson came out and hit 8 out of 16 in the second half for over 100 yards and some big, big plays. The Comets were trailing 25 to 12 in the fourth quarter in that ball game. They came back and scored on a fourth down and eight play from the 31-yard line on a touchdown pass to Rich Gravely, which brought them uh, back and got them in position where they could get close to a Verndale and challenge to take the lead. And they did just that. They set up a screen pass to Jeff Olson. He went 50 yards for the touchdown. It was called back because of a uh, illegal block inside the 10-yard line. So they gave uh, the yardage to Olson to the point, of course, of the foul and then mark the ball back so instead of a touchdown and a 26 25 lead it was 25 20 verndale hillcrest had the ball on the 16 yard line of the pirates with under two minutes to go they moved it down inside the five were out of timeouts quick took a snap quick snap and threw an incomplete pass to stop the clock with five seconds to go it came down to a fourth down and two and they made it Arnold Thompson threw to Rich Gravely in the corner of the end zone. Comets win it, 26-25. Kind of a helpless feel, feeling if you're Verndale when you look up and there's zeros on the board after that last play. And what a great comeback victory. And whoever wrote that script did a great job because the drama was there in that game. Hillcrest winning it by a score of 26-25. And going on now to meet Rossi on Saturday in the semifinal round of the Section 5 nine-man football playoffs. Nevis will host the other semifinal game against Underwood. Underwood beat Bacchus last night by a score of 26 to 14. Let's take you through the other area scores. Perham beat Frazee. <laughs>